Hi, and welcome to Heritage Makers. Today, we're going to be going through some of the basics of the studio. This is really going to help you as you start creating your various projects. And we hope to be able to make things just a little bit less intimidating for you. And by the time we're done, you'll be ready to get going. First thing you're going to want to do in order to get to the Heritage Makers website is you'll need to open up a browser. A browser is how you surf the internet. The two browsers that are compatible with the Heritage Maker system are Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer. So the browser that we're going to be using today is Mozilla Firefox. So I'm just going to open this right up and type in www.heritagemakers.com and then it's going to bring me up to our home page here and you'll see that there are a lot of different features. We're going to go through each one of these features so that you're aware of what each of them does and the information that's available through each of them. Let's go ahead and start up here. This is going to be where you're, you will see some rolling ads. Um, these ads do change each time you refresh the page um, but you can also go through them manually here down at the bottom with these numbers. If you're interested in anything that any one of these ads has to offer, there will be a hyperlink that you can just click on right here and it will take you to the specific link associated with that ad. If I click right here on the Heritage Makers logo, it takes me back to our home page. If I were to click on My Studio, My Studio is going to take me to a place where I can log into my account. If you already have activated your account, you want to just simply log in right here. You'll type in either your email address or your account number, and then the password that you've created, and then select Log Me In. If you have not activated your Heritage Makers account, you're going to come right here to the Activate It Now, where you will be able to activate your account. If you received your account number from a workshop, then you will need to come in here and activate it before you will be able to access the information in your account. Once you click on activate my account, it's going to take you to a different screen where you'll be able to type in your account ID or email and then your postal code. This would be the postal code that was um, entered into your information when you attended the workshop. Once entering in this information, you will need to click continue and from there you will be able to verify all of your personal information, create a password, and read through the terms and conditions before you continue on to your account. Come back here to my studio. If you uh, do not currently have an account or you are aware of someone that would like to sign up for an account, you simply just need to come here to sign up and create a free account. There is no fee or anything associated with signing up for an account, it is completely free. There is also an option to watch a video. There's a video link right here that you can view and it's going to give some some additional information about Heritage Makers. Alright, so we will come back to this page and log in a little bit later. However, let's just continue going through these tabs here at the top. We've also got the shop tab the shop tab is where you're going to be able to preview all of the various products that Heritage Makers has to offer. You'll see they've been grouped into four different categories. We have storybooks, cards, prints, and photo gifts. If I click on any one of these categories, it's going to then show me what is included in each one of those categories, giving me a description of the product as well as the retail value. However, if you're interested in viewing things in addition to what this is showing, click on View Details. It will take you to a different page where you'll be able to view the item larger. You'll see here. It's going to give you a little bit more detailed information as far as what is included in that particular product. And if you would like to, you can get started right from this point if that is a product that you would like to start creating right away. You can always go back right here by clicking go back to the shop and you will be able to continue browsing through the various products. Alright, and heading back to our home page again, 
We next would like to go through the template gallery. In the template gallery, you will be able to browse through various types of products that we have that have pre-designed templates. The templates make it very easy to be able to create projects. If you would like to start by searching through for a particular category, just click on this drop down menu here. You will then be able to browse. You can also search for a type of product. You can search for all storybooks, for example, or if you're looking for something in a certain size, you can select by size as well. You can sort by popularity, and you can also sort by your membership. We have two different types of membership. We have our basic membership, which is what you receive when you uh, first sign up for a Heritage Makers account. It's completely free. And then you've got your premier membership, which um, must be purchased. And that can be purchased on either a monthly, a quarterly, or a yearly basis. So you, it, that makes it really easy to be able to search depending on the type of membership that you have. You can also search for a particular keyword just by typing it right up here into the search bar. But if I come right down here, let's say for example I go to a category that's a love category. The system is going to sort through all of the various templates in all different types of products and find any one of those that have been labeled as dealing with love. If I'm looking particularly for a storybook, I can click on storybooks and it narrows my search even further. I can continue to narrow down my search by Premiere. That brings me down to a total of 52 templates that match all of my search criteria. I can then go through these different templates and when I find one that I might be interested in, first thing I can do is I can click on preview. Clicking on preview brings up a project preview. It will take just a moment to load up and once it loads up you will be able to flip through page by page and see what that template has to offer. If you click on play, that is going to take you through uh, just page by page uh, automatically so you'll be able to get a feel for what the product has to offer and what the design has been. You can also pause it. You can go through manually as well simply by clicking on each of these thumbnails down here at the bottom of the page and you'll know which one you're on because it's going to have this little symbol right here. So if you're not sure which page you're on, just look for that little symbol. And you can continue to go through each of these pages. If you decide that you like it, you'll want to come here to the Details tab. By clicking on Details, you're going to get a little bit more information. You're going to get a description some keywords, and lastly there will be a checkbox that you'll need to check if this is a premier project, um, saying that you understand that any projects created with this template require a current and active premier membership. Then you can check it and select either get this template or get and keep browsing. If you don't want to get the template at all, just simply close out and you'll be able to continue browsing through these various templates to, until you find one that you like. Also located on the home page are some additional options down here at the bottom of the page. Here you will be able to see a photo of your consultant, your consultant's name. You can also find out their story, how they got started with Heritage Makers and why they like it. You can also click on join my team. Clicking on Join My Team would allow you to sign up as a consultant underneath your own consultant. You also got some additional information here listed under Hosting and Specials. This will be information that your consultant will be able to provide for you. And if you're interested in starting your own business as a Heritage Makers consultant, you can click down here at the bottom on Learn More. Right here in the very center panel at the bottom, these are going to be some different products that we're showcasing. If you like what you see, you can click on View Template. That's going to bring up a preview for you, just like it did in the, just like it will in the template gallery. And you're able to view it at that point. 
Over here on the right hand side at the bottom, you'll be able to see some other products that are being displayed. You can check out the new 2010 catalog. You can also check out our different pieces of digital art. We do have over 40,000 pieces of art that are accessible with the Premier Membership. And clicking on any one of these is going to take you to a different link where you will be able to get some additional information.